What's going on there guys? Earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream on this Tuesday, e Thursday evening, August 26, 2021 is the date, about 8.53 p.m. West Coast time in California, latest quake, a 4.7 earthquake, striking off here uh, off the coast of Russia it looks like on the Pacific Ring of Fire, right on that bend uh, in that plate, we've kind of been seeing a uh, little bit of activity over the last 24 hours, uh, stretching from Japan, where they had a 5.0, to now a 4.7, much further to the north. Let's go ahead and check out some uh, details of what's going on around the globe. Released on the flat scale Earth model, there's that 4.7 up here off the uh, coast. <clears throat> see if I can keep my voice in check here. Uh, 10 kilometers below the surface, uh, the five-pointer that struck down here a little bit earlier off the coast of Japan, uh, 23 kilometers uh, just to the northeast of Tokyo offshore. Still watching this uh, for potential movement. West coast looking uh, fairly inactive, at least on the 2.5 map. Let's go ahead and check out the all-magnitude map here and zoom in still getting this activity into the inner mountain west and the pacific northwest uh, notice we have seen an uptick in earthquake activity around the antelope valley area it's all scattered out and about this is an area where they seen that six pointer a few weeks ago still seeing some aftershock activity although a little bit on the larger size um, over the last 24 i could have swore we had a bring this up here because where we had a 3.7 in that mix, but it looks like USGS downgraded it. So here is the uh, somewhat larger aftershocks, uh, a pair of 3.5s, and this is some variable depths too. Look at the uh, look at these depths: 0 0.6, 1 1.6, 6 6.2. What do we got? What do we got stirring up down there? A volcano? Kind of looking crazy right there, and it's a ways away from. The, uh, the other earthquake activity, which sits over here to the west. So this is kind of a separate swarm itself here. Not for sure what we got out here in the satellite view. Let's see here. Yeah, not, not quite for sure, but we're getting some shallow earthquakes uh, striking out there in, the, uh, in that region. About 12 earthquakes total in this little mix. And as I mentioned, a pair of 3.5s and uh, another three in there as well. Keep an eye on that ridge. Like, like I said, it's a little bit separate area uh, compared to all this other activity here to the west. Something to watch pretty closely. Uh, moving down south here around Mono Lake, Long Valley Super Volcano looking pretty quiet. Uh, the Owens Valley Fault System uh, quiet as well. Ridgecrest looking typical for earthquake activity uh, as far as the aftershock sequences go. A little earthquake along the Garlock Vault structure, but nothing significant. Just a little 0.4. And Southern California looking like a typical day around the concrete jungles and the San Jacinto Fault area. A little bit of movement on the Brawley Seismic Zone here. Extensional fault of the uh, San Andreas Fault System here. Just kind of a couple of small quakes, nothing big. A couple microquakes kicking off in that region of the world. What do we got here in the Pacific Northwest? Looks like things calming down a tad bit. Uh, not seeing too much earthquake activity along the uh, Cascades. Kind of wondering what the trimmer map is going to look like. So. We'll check this out here real quick. Still seeing some uh, epicenters of trimmer. This could have been from, actually it looks like uh, looks like most of this activity from way earlier as far as these timestamps go. Other than that, not a whole lot of slippage out there on the North American uh, Juan de Fuca plate area, interface area. It's looking uh, kind of quiet right now when we see trimmer kick up. Normally we see a lot of activity ramping up 
uh, on the surface or uh, also we sometimes get some deep movement here along the subduction zone of the Cascadia but uh, with it quieting down a little bit on the trimmer department uh, it's kind of matching what we're seeing up here as uh, far as magnitudes and the multitudes of quake uh, quake activity goes tonight so uh, what else we got here folks into the Intermountain West region we go Yellowstone see what's going on over there not a whole lot looking uh, looking quiet folks she sleeps peacefully uh, Oklahoma, a little bit of movement. Texas, some activity as well. And uh, periodic uh, once, uh, one little quake along the New Madrid Fault area. It's still very active. I mean, we're looking at, uh, let's go to the all magnitudes here and see how many has struck within the last week. Not a whole lot, but this this activity right here lets me know that it's still, uh, still active. I don't know about the accumulation of stress in this area. It may not be as much as other areas around the uh, region, uh, more specifically uh, California and whatnot, but uh, it's definitely still uh, popping off some small microquakes here and there. East Coast, pretty quiet when it comes to earthquake activity. Uh, what do we got here? South America, some movement going on down there into the uh, Peru Chile Trench, some deeper activity at 270 kilometers for 4.4. Uh, and that activity continues down south here near Chile with a 4.6 at 100 kilometers below surface into the subduction zone. Hawaii, uh, let's see what's going on out there. I don't believe we've seen Kilauea volcano erupt yet. In fact, looking at the magnitudes there, it kind of just calmed down all of a sudden. Not a whole lot of uh, magma movement at the moment into this region. Uh, let's see here what we got on the... Uh, Kilauea activity. Well, it looks like it's uh, back to yellow. Wow. That didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Potential for Kilauea volcano eruption diminished. Here's a little article uh, on that uh, activity. The Kilauea volcano is not erupting. Over the past 24 hours, earthquake activity and ground deformation levels have decreased in the area beneath the southern part of Kilauea's summit caldera with the closed area of Hawaiian uh, within the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Uh, these observations indicate that the immediate potential for an eruption is diminished at this time, but don't let your guard down, folks. It could definitely come back uh, with vengeance here. But uh, back from uh, the orange watch to now yellow advisory for the Kilauea volcano once again. A big story is potentially a major hurricane coming into the Gulf. Right now, it is a tropical storm uh, developing pretty quickly. You can see the winds kicking up around this center uh, with a thunderstorm activity trying to gain strength and uh, uh, form a, uh, a pretty, uh, pretty good storm. It is Tropical Storm Ida. Right now, 40 mile per hour winds this thing's going to rapidly increase in the next couple days here as it moves into the Gulf. You can see the rapid intensification in intensifying uh, area up here in the yellow and orange. Looks like we could be looking at uh, it, it possibly getting into a uh, Category 3 hurricane. Most models are showing two. But uh, I was looking at some, and it kind of looks like it could be a, a three as it makes its way up here. And, and this path right here looks to be right on track when it comes to the path of the eye wall. Uh, once, the, uh, once Hurricane Ida forms, and this is not good. A lot of rainfall coming in here. A lot of storm surge into Louisiana. New Orleans over here to the east. Uh, this whole area is definitely going to be uh, on the watch here pretty soon, if it's not already. Um, and there's always uncertainty when it comes to tracking these tropical storms and hurricanes. They can uh, get it. They, they pretty much got a mind of their own. Sometimes I've seen them uh, go one direction and all of a sudden flip, flip, uh, kind of like a make a sharp turn. It's crazy. 
we got to look at these upper wind speeds and lower wind speeds and uh, a lot of the, a lot of the activity right now this is all lower wind speeds here at the surface but um, this thing's definitely going to kick up and ramp up I was gonna I thought about maybe going over there and uh, chasing this thing but uh, I do not like the lowland area over there there's nowhere to run to uh, storm surge is going to be tremendous here if it was a little bit further east I mean uh, west towards the Texas area kind of where I was at last time this this time last year for uh, Hurricane Laura I might go over there but man it's just I don't like this area it's a lot of marsh um, and it's uh, it's dangerous so I'm gonna pass up on that one that's one model uh, the other model is uh, right here from the Weather Underground Hurricane Center. She pretty much shows right smack dab into the, uh, just to the west of New Orleans. And unfortunately, that is the strongest section of the hurricane. This eyewall comes up to this region here. We're going to be slamming New Orleans here with the brunt of the, uh, the, the circulation of the uh, eyewall. It's going to be a, uh, it's kind of not in the best position position right there uh, for for New Orleans so we'll watch this it looks like about 8 uh, 829 2021 so we're looking at Sunday right Sunday at about 5 p.m. could be making landfall and the uh, at the uh, Louisiana coast here pretty crazy but uh, like I say there's a little uncertainty but within this area I definitely need to be on guard uh, this map here shows it at a category two. I think it's going to be uh, uh, pretty close. It shows 110 mile per hour winds, very close to the category three. As I mentioned, there's potential for that. A couple other weather models showing a category three striking this region. And who knows? With the warm water, this thing could gain even more strength. We will be watching it and uh, doing updates here uh, daily until that storm hits. Right now, headed towards the northwest at about 10 miles per hour, sustained winds at about 40, pressure at 1,006, uh, and it is a tropical storm at the moment. Uh, looks like gusts up to about 45, so it's Ida's getting getting uh, getting together a little bit. So be on guard if you're living in that area. Uh, pay close attention to what's going on with that storm. All right, folks, have a good night. Uh, we will chat at you guys another time. I'm going to head to bed, I think, and I uh, hope everyone enjoys their evening. And uh, just, just, I thought I'd seen a 6.5 there. It kind of scared me for a second, but it was 2.6 and then one behind it. All right, guys, have a good evening. We'll chat to you guys a little bit later. Peace out.